Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Hey guys, what's up? My name is Billy, and I'm recording this video for youtube.com slash LockerNome. Today I'm going to show you how to easily add your files to an internet database that allows you to access it from any computer. What we're going to do is we're going to follow the link that's in the description, and we're going to click on it. It'll take you to a website, and the program we're downloading is called Dropbox. What you're going to do is create a free Dropbox account. This is how it can sync with the internet database and you're going to download the Dropbox to your computer. Once you have it downloaded, it's going to tell you to either create an account or if you already have a Dropbox account, you're going to click there. If you did it on the website, you'll have created one and you're going to enter your email and your password. So my email. Then you're going to name your computer. Then you're going to hit continue. Now you're going to choose your plan. You could either buy an upgrade or you could stick with the two gigabytes that they give you. Right here we're just looking at the total. Once you're done, click finish and OK. When you open the Dropbox folder, you'll notice it will say photos and public. In your photos, you should have a sample fol folder. Well, I've already deleted mine. When you go into public, you shouldn't have anything that you personally put in here yet. But if you want to have someone download a file that's in a public folder, all you have to do is merge it into here. It will tell you the upload that it's uploading, then all you have to do is right click, go into Dropbox, and copy public link. Once you press copy public link, and you open an internet browser, all you have to do is paste it, and it'll open up the download link. Dropbox is an essential program that I recommend for everybody. For this to work with multiple computers, all you have to do is download it on every computer you want. And then you link that Dropbox program to your Dropbox account. So I could create a folder called Music. Every time I drop an uh, iTunes song into that Music folder, it'll automatically pop up on any other computer that I have linked to this account. This is a great thing when you want to share music wirelessly. You don't want to use an external hard drive or USB flash drive. So guys, if you enjoyed this video, please check out youtube.com slash lockernome, lockernome.com, chris.perillo.com, and geeks.perillo.com. We'll see you later.